Greetings, it is I, Susie Q, working with some of my own Akashic Records. I move it into automatic written pieces, and I'm just kind of like a typist. So when I'm looking back at some of these words and phrases and some of these um, kind of spiritual messages that come through, so I think we're going to be working with the angelics right now. We'll see what you think. So we're going to get started right now. Withered is the vine that time has reconciled in the causal expression of releasing, letting go, planting new seeds for new homecomings. Within the spaces of appearances of letting go, therein creates a whole new embodiment of spirit. Holding two tight stymies the energies that now present. Being in one with the spirit, this is you. You catapult into new and enlivened frequency matches that will surely astound your senses. Change agents like a wisp of wind or angel's wings are among us and quite actually visible for some like me. A soft touch of a nature unknown to even the most sensitive will know that guides, angels, and the change agents are in support of your soul's purpose now. How will you know? <laughs> you feel different in ways that are unique and strange. You see things now in a way that seem foreign to what you know to be your truth. Your sense connections with things unseen and it is safe. You experience relationships in deep and profound ways. You adapt more quickly to change. You notice things in your life that now hold a new curiosity. You are eating foods that are still kissed by the sun, sun-raw energy, and the naturalness feels right. The mere act of letting go more easily these days creates whole new worlds of possibility for you. Be in your verve and churn your wheels for change in this now moment by saying yes. <laughs> you got this. Your angels are with you now. <laughs> yeah, I love it when the angelics come in because it's this really sweet and soft, you know, um, kind of an energy. So when I'm going in and writing this material from that still small voice, um, it's kind of like, like being hugged, you know, by angel wings or... Um, could be feeling like for me with the angelics, it could be some of our ancestors, you know, my mom died, my father died. Um, it could be any of these ancestral, um, you know, family members that are like right, right on us, right? You know, they're almost like, they're like all hugging us, you know, all of that is really special when we're you know, just working with the angelics. And even with some of these phrases and words that we use, and I always say this, like every time, you know, is that, you know, underneath the words, underneath the impressions, underneath the, the ways of being, it's really just about energy. So, you know, everything is everything and energy is all there is and that's what's really happening and so we're really in a state of you know here i am <laughs> here i am i'm ready for something amazing to come through to come um, boost something up for me for boosting something for you what else do you need to know about the angelics what else do you need to understand about how you can have a direct connection with spirit or your ancestors or what else do we need to do right now to have a better experience with being able to acknowledge the angelics or some of our ancestors how do we do that and 
what do I need to know about that? So all of these questions have been really spectacular because I've really, really loved and embraced 15 years of doing the Akashic Records with my automatic writing. And I completely and love and adore this material. Sometimes when I start looking at some of the written pieces, I'm like, I don't even know who wrote this stuff, you know, but it was it was me as the scribe or the typist. I always go, I always call myself the typist. Um, but now it's, you know, it's mine. This is all of my um, still small voice that I'm listening and then I'm, you know, just typing away. So anyway, so have a great day and namaste. <laughs>